This content is rated S for spoiler. Don't say I didn't warn you. This is a story of a man named Saitama. Saitama has become so strong because he trained himself every day of every month and of every year. Well, I shouldn't be late. And eventually, he went around cities with a strong sense of responsibility to use that power correct. I chose to be a hero for fun, but now I'm getting bored with it. Saitama was walking his way for a long time with his strong responsibility. When suddenly, he notices that his colleagues who are called heroes in this world gathered around over there. What the heck are those guys doing over there? Hey, what are you guys up to? And then one day, something very peculiar happened. Huh? As soon as he looked around, and everything went white. All of the heroes were gone. What could this mean? It seems to be that there's a new type of monsters roaming around this place that Saitama has never seen before. Saitama became so nervous. Of course, he starts to shiver violently as soon as he saw the appearance of the brutal monster, totally different from this world. What happened here? Where is everybody? Alright, I think my adventure begins here. With this thought, Saitama took a single step strongly. Ah, I'm getting hungry. I should have stopped by the convenience store. As he walked a little further, he saw the soldiers of this world being trained. Saitama did not want to disturb them, so he tried to get around his route sideways, not to be observed by them. Good. I'll ask them where the nearest convenience store around here is. What are you doing, Mr. Saitama? You, you are not allowed to go that way. This is the place where the soldiers are being trained to defend mankind. Excuse me, but where is the nearest convenience store from here? I think I got lost on my way. Oh well, unavoidably I can't help it now. Apparently, when we saw the monsters for the first time in this world, they were called the Titans. Well then, unless now that I'm here right now, I think this is my own destiny to save the world. I'll use my strongest power and then I'm going to stay determined to get rid of these Titans altogether, Saitama thought to himself. Saitama starts to train and then share friendship with the soldiers of this world as possible as he could. To share the same place with them and devoted his whole day to save mankind. Saitama has been getting determined in order to defeat the titans that threaten mankind in this world. Ah, uh, I've just remembered that I should have watered my plant at home. Excuse me? I can't believe in both my ears. Do you think that this kind of job is worth more than the situation right now? Huh? Yeah, is that what you're talking about? Of course, it's gonna be worth it. It is just totally worth it now, right? Indeed. You've never heard a single word carefully since then, Mr. Saitama. The next day, a very terrible thing happened. Each and every one of his colleagues has been killed helplessly by successive waves of titans before they all could wear the equipment properly. Those are the titans of the world. Run for your life! Ah, uh, are those things the titans? Now I see. Oh, Mr. Saitama, you should be hardened by your purpose and by listening carefully to what I say to you. We've traveled together to defend mankind and thereby overcoming a crisis. How is this story going to be? Didn't you even like the story that I prepared for you? So then, are you the one who's been talking in my head since yesterday or the day before? Oh, Mr. Saitama. When I tried to eat something yesterday, I heard muttering in my head. Also, when I tried to get some rest, I heard blah, blah, blah. When I tried to fall asleep at night, you clogged my brain. It is obviously irritating me. Those big guys kept bugging me from yesterday. Hello there. You better come down. That reminds me. Was it you who brought me to this damn world? After these guys, it's your turn. So wait for it on the spot. 
What? You've got to be kidding me. I'm the one who wrote the story. If you kill me, you couldn't have existed. Who does he even care? I said just wait on your spot. As a narrator who writes these stories, I have been killing someone. But it is the first time I have been threatened with death. To be honest, I am afraid. So I'd better avoid it for a while. I think that I've chosen the wrong one. Wait, wrong one. Honestly, I can't do the mind control to him. He's too strong to control. I just admit it. What I wanted was a big twist. Well, but it can be said that this is the big twist I never could have imagined. By the way, I should pick more obedient characters in the future. For example, yes, a very obedient office worker would be fine. Ah, oh, I had good time in the past. Oh, it's a shame I took too much time to wipe out all those Titan things. Now it is quiet in my mind. I was bothered to death about it. 